Thank you, last count Corla. The root cause of this debate is the government's decision to remove the only protection in place against homelessness. The eviction ban was put in place to protect renters due to the scale and breadth of the housing crisis that the government and successive governments have created. In the run-up to today's debate, several constituents were in contact with me and they asked me, they implored me to vote no confidence in this government. I told them, I haven't had confidence in this government since the day they came into office. Because I look at the facts and because I see my own constituents in my constituency offices and they tell me what is happening. They tell me what, the, what life is like for them under this government. How could anyone have confidence in a government who know exactly what the right thing to do to protect people is, but consistently do the wrong thing that makes people suffer? There's almost a premeditation in what you're doing. Earlier this month, it was reported in the Sunday Independent that government feared an extension of the eviction ban would have seen a dramatic increase in homeless numbers close to the European and local elections next year and that there was a political motivation behind your decision to end the ban this month. So we see what you're at. We see, isn't it? You, you accuse other people of playing politics. We see what you're doing. You, we see what you're doing. And the people that you're playing <coughs> politics with are people who are facing <coughs> eviction. 4,700 households with eviction notices due to come into effect in April. So that's who you're playing politics with. We see you, we see what you're at, and we know what's going on here. The reality is that homeless services are massively overburdened. Housing supply hasn't increased, and the cliff edge is that facing many tenants is adding, to, is adding huge pressures. And Minister Coveney, you spoke about enterprise, and you spoke about business. IBEC and Chambers Ireland, now hardly bastions of left-wing ideology, they will tell you that your housing crisis is now inhibiting the ability of business to recruit and retain staff. You talk to principals in schools. A teacher, a teacher used to be a good job. You used to be able to afford your rent if you were a teacher. Can't get teachers now. Can't get them. Do you know where they are? They're in Australia. They've been forced out of this country by your government, by your housing policies. So Deputy O'Callaghan referenced the, uh, you, you know, can't be solved overnight. 12 years of Fine Gael in government, you've had more than 4,000 overnights. How many more overnights is it going to take? We need a change of government, a change of approach, because what you are doing is not working. It is, I don't know whose interests it is serving, but it is not serving the interests of my constituents. It is not serving the interests of families who all they want is the chance to have a stable and secure home from which they can build their life. It should not be too much to ask. And yet you find yourself incapable of addressing their concerns, incapable of providing people with a safe or a secure roof over their head. And I don't know if anyone on the government benches has ever been evicted. It is horrible, absolutely horrible, to have to, have to hand your keys back to someone else to walk away from the place where you thought you might be able to build your family. It is awful. To have that, you talk about safety nets just having a clue. To have that safety net taken from you, your safe, secure, stable place to live, the place for your children to call home, to have that taken off you, it is soul destroying. And I say to people who are going to be evicted, and people are going to be evicted in the next month, the shame is not theirs, the shame is yours. The shame is this government's. You are doing this. You have a choice. We have tabled legislation. You can support that legislation. You have a choice. And you are turning your back on those people. And to Ministers O'Brien, Joe and Dara. Joe, we have a neighbour. Joe and I live in the same town. We have a neighbour. She's a widow. She has four children. She's out on the 15th of May. Where is she going, Joe? Used to work in the homeless services. You know how bad it is. Where is she going? Where is she going? Is she going into emergency accommodation? And her kids on the bus every morning, coming from town, out to Scaries. Is that what she's supposed to do? Is she going into a hostel? Where is she going, Joe? She's your neighbour. She's my neighbour. Dara, she's one of your constituents. Where is she going? 
Where is she going to go? A widow and four children. You have no answers. And unless you have an answer for that woman, then you must vote no confidence in this government and you must support the Sinn Féin legislation to extend the only bloody safety net that exists for these people. We're over time. Thank you.